The 50th annual Grammy Awards ceremony airs this Sunday night, and you can expect the same great music, but a greater Louisiana connection. And that is because there is a new category recognizing some homegrown musicians. Susan Edwards has their story. <laughs> It's not a beautiful kind of music, it's more of a dance music. It's the Pine Leaf Boys take on the traditional mixed with an energetic with attitude style of kick and Cajun music that's thrust them into a greater spotlight, a Grammy highlight. One of seven groups being recognized for their Cajun or Zydeco tunes for the first time ever by Hollywood. I was like, my God, that means that people liked us enough to actually nominate us into the Grammys against this awesome lineup of other musicians. A lineup representing a fusion of sounds from accordion maestro Terrence Simeon, who's lobbied for the Grammy recognition for years. <laughs> contemporary crooning of Roddy Romero in the Hub City All-Stars. I think it's time that the world recognizes it. Uh, I think the world has been recognizing it uh, in, in these amazing spurts. But never so directly through the eyes of Hollywood until now. Some music experts say the national fame and recognition could be a mixed blessing. On one hand, you do want recognition for artists that you care about and come from these wonderful sources. And on the other hand, uh, it allows almost anybody to kind of try and get in the category, and if they can get the votes from their particular part of the world, then they can win a Grammy. Of the seven Grammy nominees, six of them are native traditionalists in Cajun or Zydeco music, all of them from within 20 miles of each other in Lafayette. Now, those common denominators paired with the gumbo of music they produce could actually work against them in their quest for a Grammy. And I show like New Orleans, Louisiana, and Lafayette. The, the chances are that each, each group of fans behind each band will follow that band and it may be that an outside very pop kind of performer with no connection to the culture that I see or hear uh, could win this. Music set to scandal perhaps, but win or lose, the Grammy nominees are simply thrilled their roots are finally being recognized. The soul of their music echoed for all to enjoy Many of them determined not to let Hollywood modify the true mixing and mingling of melodies that is Louisiana. It's music to have a good time. It's, you know, it's not, it doesn't want to be background music. You know, it wants, to, it wants you to, to hear it and it wants you to participate. It's really not a fame thing. It's just about playing music. And, and I, I wouldn't ever worry that any recognition around the world would ever corrupt this at all. In New Orleans, Susan Edwards, Eyewitness News Nightwatch. And along with those nominees in the Zydeco category, other local Grammy nominees include Terrence Blanchard, Harry Connick Jr., comedian Harry Shearer, and SLU professor Kenneth Bolton. You can see who takes home the awards Sunday night at 7 o'clock right here on Channel 4. Hopefully a big night for the state of Louisiana.